Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Ryan from Intel, again joined by my good friend Peterson. Pat. We have and a special guest today, Raja Kadori. Raja Kadori, thanks for coming in and joining us. Thank you. So uh, we're here today. We're gonna, you know, we wanted to kind of have a discussion about Arc and get your thoughts and your input on, you know, where we ended up and what's next and all that kind of stuff. But you know, very casual conversation. I think people want to hear what you have to say. And, and um, you know, I, I, here, here's where I'll start. Okay. I, I am super curious about how you think we ended up. Net result. When anybody asks me that question, it's a, it's a bunch of mixed, lots of emotions. Mm. you know, yeah. for this moment. And, and I know we are a day or two away from uh, getting the feedback oh. right, through the reviews. <laughs> and also, you know, we're not done yet uh, until, until we see that moment. So, but, you know, it's a combination of, uh, you know, first gratitude. Um, lots of teams have worked very hard for a long period of time. And, and particularly the period uh, the, the COVID period, right? You know, we had no idea, frankly, right? It's basically the, the chips were coming back, but everybody was still at home. I mean, how do you few even people, do bring up, right? You I mean, people going to the labs and, uh, right, how you, you know, getting hardware guys, software guys, power, platform engineering guys, mm. uh, and pe all of them debug uh, new architecture. And, oh. and, and many of them are new teams. They haven't worked with each other through production right. of a new GPU. They didn't have a bunch uh, of experience beforehand going into it. Uh, yeah, uh, with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And this stuff. So yeah. there's lot, you know, definitely lots of, uh, you know, uh, gratitude on that. And even all the way to kind of taking it to the market has been pretty awesome to see. Thank so you. Thank, thank you, you for, thank you, uh, you know, it does make me that. wonder, you know, uh, we've kind of alluded to this many times during this conversation that we have an engine that is pretty excellent, right? Punch is way above its class, but we have not delivered everything that we want to for DX11 specifically. And some people have asked about, well, what's going on with that? Or how, do, how should we think about that? Do you, can you help us kind of parse that and break it down a little bit? Yeah, um, you know, the graphics APIs, right? You know, from, I've uh, worked from DirectX, I think the first uh, DX API that I worked hands on and wrote drivers for was DX3. Of course, <laughs> so, <laughs> seen the whole evolution of the entire thing and uh, uh, optimizing uh, for an API uh, and getting your entire drivers fully optimized for an entire API is, you know, uh, non-trivial amount of work. <laughs> non-trivial. Yeah, right. <laughs> in the thing and uh, um, having been in GPU companies that have uh, discrete GPU companies that have been on the journey you take a lot of things for granted, mm. right? It's like, oh, all the stuff that you've done, you know, optimized, and it might have taken you 10 years, but, you know, it's <laughs> all, just You have that entire done. history all right, behind right, you, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. So uh, DX11 was always, it's uh, basically, if you have a GPU-bounded application, which is like, you know, you're drawing some uh, things that have very uh, complex pixel shading mm -hmm. or vertex shading and, you know, other effects, not a problem. It yeah. does not much difference. Yeah. But if you have a game that is producing a lots of you know varied draw calls, then they tend to become CPU bound. And what that uh, what's happening there is the amount of time it takes for CPU to give the command, the draw call to the GPU, takes long time. So others out there have worked. Uh, uh, around this by doing multi-threaded drivers. And yeah. they're not easy, by the yeah. way, uh, to do a multi-threading uh, optimization underneath the game engine and underneath the DirectX API. Um, so you have to do a completely different driver architecture to actually make it not CPU right. bound. So if you're GPU bound, you're good, right? So if you have- We rock on GPU bound yeah. cases. <laughs> yeah, so when you run high resolution, for example, yep. like, you know, you get more GPU bound. Yep. So that's the kind of uh, thing that, uh, but I am pretty sure, and as you know, what I see already internally, right? Our, G our drivers will get better. Oh, right? okay. on, They'll uh, uh, get less CPU bound. They'll also understand the architecture better and better, and they will, mm. uh, you know, make yeah. uh, the better utility. I mean, I've been trying to think in my head, has our optimization in the past for integrated graphics, where you have sort of like a, a lower mm -hmm. performance CPU or GPU, has that kind of pushed our driver one way or the other, and we need to do it differently for discrete? Yeah, well, so, you know, the interesting thing is when your engine 
is small, right? You know, if integrated graphics typically is very small GPU, you get a limited die area and they don't have much memory bandwidth. You become GPU limited very easily. Very quickly. Right, right. yeah, yeah. It's right. just, you know, draw a few triangles yeah. in your GPU. Draw a box. <laughs> so, so <laughs> right, you know. Not you, that I'm cutting on the integrated <laughs> graphics. I think yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. so. Yeah, it's so the focus has been a lot on optimizing the workloads for GPU limited cases. Hey, uh, how do I optimize the shader so that uh, you know I can get more frames yeah. uh, out yeah. of the GPU yeah. in the GPU limited cases? So the driver bottlenecks and the CPU bottlenecks were you know didn't bubble up to be a priority yeah. because you're always you're always GPU limited. GPU limited. Yeah. That's that's interesting. Right? So, okay. so that's uh, you know, I think it's I call the peeling the layers layers of the onion. Mm -hmm. As the engine gets faster and faster and faster, your bottleneck shift to something else. Exactly. Right. And uh, that's that's kind of what I uh, uh, see in. Yeah. Interesting. Now, I, I'm, I, I've been thinking about, uh, you and I have talked about this for a long time, uh, about kind of the, the journey that you have foreseen on, on what this would be like, right? And I think uh, to the external world, you might say Intel is a giant company and they're just going to, they're just, everything's going to be simple. Everything's going to be easy. Uh, but, it, but it wasn't the case. For us, yeah. no, definitely. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, you know, there's a, a reason uh, why I called our, you know, first community program Odyssey. <laughs> you, know, you guys remember? I do. So when I said Odyssey, somebody came and said, Roger, do you know that Odyssey is not all like, you know. Uh, it's not all roses. It's not all roses. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's not a, I, I you know, stuff it's there like not a, a vacation There's stuff like a, and the stuff. Cyclops? And I said, hey, whoever thinks that getting into high performance graphics uh, and delivering user experiences that uh, you know, that high performance graphics user experience is, is going to be easy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Let me tell you, both for us internally and for our uh, uh, devote fans, it'll be a journey. <laughs> we'll get there, right, you know, in the stuff. But yeah, I, I anticipated it'll be difficult. But did I anticipate it being this, this difficult? difficult? <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, things like, you know, the curve, many curveballs through oh, yeah. us, many, many, many. I, I don't want to recount that. Uh, but we learned. I, I think the team is much stronger, much oh, more resilient from no you know going through that experience. You know, I'm really glad that you know we we got this out this one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hold this. I, I I feel the yeah you know really emotional holding this. Uh, but I bet. Um, yeah, but we got a lot more. Um, Juice left. Okay, so uh, how, how do we right. get? How do we start thinking yeah. about that? Get concrete. Yeah, right? I, I mean, so just to give you a sense, right? So uh, I'm an architect, right? So the first thing I look at any GPU, whether it's you know the GPU that we make uh, or our competitors make, um, if you analyze it with uh, you know hey, games and uh, benchmarks and all, I analyze it with micro benchmarks. Mm. Just as an example, in this case, right, uh, if you look at the pixel throughput of this card, A770, uh, relative to its uh, price comparison mm -hmm. around 3060, it's over two and a half times. Uh, based on real tests. Yeah, based on real, you can yeah. write a, you yeah. know, a direct text test uh -huh. and say it uh -huh. produces two and a half okay. times faster pixel throughput okay. than... Uh, so the pixel know, back end... Perf it's gorgeous. Like, yes, so, so, and uh, yeah, it, it even goes <laughs> to the next level uh, of uh, GPUs, okay. right? Higher yeah. 3070s and 3080 okay. class, like, you know, pixel throughput. Similarly, the compute throughput. So, you know, pixels and shaders. That's are the basically big, what you need, I yeah, think. Yeah, right. And, <laughs> and on compute, same, right? It's got double floating point 32 bit uh, operations on uh -huh. it. Uh, but on the flip side, if you write the micros, right? For example, uh, copying data from uh, CPU to GPU, mm -hmm. it's 20 percent slower than a 3060, okay. right? Um, and it's interesting, right? On integrated, we don't need to copy. We right? never worked so, on this you know, before, like, right? Like yeah. Stuff, right? Yeah. So, uh, so how you do efficient copies? How do you schedule co better copies? Yep. Is one thing. That's right? a, that's a learning yeah. that we're doing yeah. right now, right? And, and there are other patterns, like you know, binding uh, a vertex buffer to the draw pipeline to say, hey, bind it, and then you issue the draw call. Just that bind operation, there is a bunch of housekeeping that the driver needs to do to kind of set those things up, map the buffers to GPU mm -hmm. memory, and sometimes even do a copy yeah, from this and all that whatever. stuff. So that that ton of housekeeping, that, that operation, like we are like half speed of uh, competition right I now, see. right? So, so that's the anomaly, you know, like some of the stuff is that 
you, you'll find is, oh, this this card screams compared yeah. to, uh, you know, it's uh, it's bad. I see. And that, that, that makes me think, like, why why it is that in some cases we're really performing well, mm -hmm. and in other cases we have problems, right? Yeah. And, and it's probably hitting one of these issues that we haven't yeah. yet optimized yet. Yes. And, you know, as compilers mature and as drivers mature, so that's why, the, you know, before I get to battle mage, I, I see... A, uh, a a series of uh, there's more stuff coming and stuff. and our and our software st stack getting kind of better and and we do need that uh, for the performance. Uh, like, remember, I said that as the engine gets bigger and bigger and faster, your bottlenecks shift to the other Around, end. So right? your yeah, CPU yeah. stuff. Your so. Battle Mage will need even a faster driver. Absolutely. Okay? So, Absolutely. All, all the work right. we're doing now yeah. to improve yeah. Alchemist is going to... So that at least... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, it, when I think about Battle Mage, I've, I've uh, had a question about this, and I've said the bulk of our team currently is working on Battle Mage. Would you say that's roughly true in your aspect, or is it a mix all over the place? Oh, the silicon team, that's absolutely the bulk of yeah. the silicon team uh, is working on uh, battle mage yeah. uh, and platform engineering, and some amount of the software resources have also been absolutely. working on. Uh, yeah. And I, 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 I get some, some data on this. The <laughs> sense is it's going pretty good so far. What, how would you compare where we are with battle mage compared to where we were with Alchemist at this, roughly the same mm -hmm. time? Is there a way to compare those two, or is it, is it not something you want to talk about? Yeah, we, uh, you know, we, now that we are into the second generation and all, right, you know, the f for first generation, they weren't good reference point right. for you to compare. So now that you have a reference point, we do have comparisons. Like we track, like, you know, the number of uh, open bugs, for example, mm -hmm. right? And when we start a project, we set some performance goals, right? So that it needs to be, you know, this, hit this performance. And we do pre-silicon uh, verification of emulation, those things like yeah. That, yeah. So when we look at those, uh, all of those vectors, it's substantially better than uh, at this point of time than uh, where Alchemist I was see. around. All right, well, that's encouraging. Yeah. So encouraging. That's <laughs> now I, I was curious. Uh, you recently took a day on Sunday mm -hmm. and drove up to go see Pat. Mm -hmm. delivered one of these. I'm mm -hmm. curious, we posted it on Twitter, you know, the picture of Pat holding the card. What was his take on this? Like, what's his his mindset on on, on where we're at? And Yeah, absolutely. You know, he, uh, <laughs> you know, before uh, he left Intel, he wanted Intel to be in uh, high-performance uh, discrete graphics market. He started the Larabee product. And uh, he definitely sees that uh, accelerated general-purpose computing uh, for computer graphics, for gaming, for visualization, for simulation, for AI, mm -hmm. uh, is an essential, uh, you know, product line tool and architecture that Intel needs to have. Yeah, it's right? kind of like you have to have. This yeah, thing. you have to have it. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, I it think it doesn't matter how painful it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By by the time you get to 2025, uh, right? It is just every socket will need uh, this capability. Yeah, I I, agree. I totally agree with that. Yeah, interesting. Well, you know, I would just ask if there's, you know, what would you tell all the people that have watched ARC and, you know, what they knew as DG2 before ARC reveal? What's kind of like the takeaway you would you would offer up to them? Yeah. Uh, so, if you, uh, again, I like holding this card many <laughs> times, right? You know, if you look at what this enables for Intel, right, it enables a ton of software ecosystem to be running on Intel hardware, Intel software, mm -hmm. with features like ray tracing, XESS, AV1 encoding, mm -hmm. right? Premium content. Now, remember, none of this premium content ever ran on any Intel. Like you know, no integrated. Yeah, no, yeah, integrated didn't even have these features yeah. to light up, right? On our performance. In fact, many of the applications don't even, if they detect integrated, they turn off all the features right. by automatic, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. They, you, you're not even exercising. So now, if you just kind of, you know, next step, imagine uh, Meteor Lake integrated, being able to run all this content on day one, yeah. right? So that's a big deal. I, 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 I don't think like, you know, we, we, we haven't really talked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, comprehend yeah. the impact of this entire library of uh, applications being able to run on integrated and with XESS and, you know, so. Ray uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's a beautiful thing, right? You know, that's a really, really kind of, you know, thing. I'm, I have been always passionate about 
how to deliver, right, as much performance as you can in every form factor, yeah. right? You know, the, the small form factors were always, you know, I'm pretty yeah, passionate. Really I hadn't really thought like about our impact on client, right? right? It's gonna be here. Now, this is exciting too, don't get me wrong, right? You know, the, 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 the desktop PC yeah. and, and making this better, but that coming and helping the bottom yeah. is like, you know, that, that you know, floats uh, so many uh, boats up and, you know, reaches hundreds of millions of game modes, right, when we, when, we, when we do that. Now, you know that we've enabled XCSS on integrated already. Yep, I can. That's that, pretty yeah, exciting, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's, so, that's yeah, a beautiful thing. Really that's a cool. good example. Yeah. Raja, thanks for joining us. I think it was super insightful. I think everybody's going to get some interesting information about this. I'm glad to have you come be a part of well, the Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.